check it out, Casper. Hey everyone, and thanks for tuning in. Casper here, and this is a brand new game mode in Team Fortress 2 called Pass Time. It's play on words because they want you to pass the ball. Now, there's one flaw immediately with this game mode. It's that they've got a game called Team Fortress 2, and it's been called that for quite some time now. And what they haven't noticed is that nobody really plays as a team. So creating a new game mode largely based around passing the objective is a flaw unto itself. Just to explain a bit more than passing, the game mode is essentially basketball. A little bit different, but the concept is the same. There's a, there's a single flag, if you like, if you want to think about capture the flag. There's a single flag that both teams are trying to capture, and you capture it in your enemy's base. So you'll see here, you pick up the ball, it's called the jack in this game mode, and you drop it into the goal. There's a couple of rules that go along with that. When you pick up the jack, you can't use any of your weapons, but you do get a slight health regeneration. Upon picking up the jack, you also get a couple of other little boosts like a speed run. But other than that, you're just as vulnerable as normal and you can't shoot anyone. And any time you can normal attack, so mouse click one for most of you, to throw the jack. And if someone's sort of in your range, you pass to them. Otherwise, you just essentially chuck it as far as your guy can. At the moment, there's only one map, and that is pass underscore warehouse. The map itself is okay, but I really don't think it suits this game mode at all. Now, if I was designing this game mode myself, which, you know, I'm not a game designer, but I, you know, I've played video games, I'd make it a lot smaller, and it wouldn't be first to three, it would just be a three minute game, or a five minute game, or a 10 minute game, and it's just whoever has the most score at the end of the game. And that could go up to 10 or 20, whatever. I think it should be really quick, loads of goals, smaller map. That's my thoughts. When you play it, you probably might find that it's going really slow. It's so easy to camp by the goal with a sentry gun. There's a few stupid places that for some reason exist in this map. Or as a sniper, because the sight lines are huge. And you can stop people scoring indefinitely because it's so easy to camp like this. I am definitely going to submit feedback and you're very welcome to do so too. They actually give you an email address to email them feedback to and that will be down there in the description. But they gave this on the official Team Fortress 2 website. So, you know, they're, they are encouraging feedback on this, which is quite good. But then again, I don't think I'm the first person to say, but they encouraged feedback on uh, Cactus Canyon and Robot Destruction Map. And what happened to those, eh? The very first time I picked the ball and I was right by the goal. I didn't know what to do. I thought maybe I've got to jump into it. I mean, it looks big enough for me to jump into, so I tried that. Didn't work. I tried to throw the ball then, and that didn't work either. Not really sure what happened there. Perhaps I just missed, but I did manage to try a couple of other times, and yes, yeah, it's, it's just a simple case of throwing the ball into the goal. There is actually a fair amount of range on this, so as long as you got your angle right, you can score from quite safe distance. A couple of interesting things about this map is that there's like these jump pads in a few places. This is nothing like we've seen in an official Team Fortress map before. Now in my opinion, this sort of undermines Team Fortress in a few respects. When you're choosing a class in Team Fortress, one of the reasons that you might pick a class is their mobility. So I'm looking at Dermo Men and Soldier. They've got these huge abilities to jump across the map that other classes don't really have. So you might pick that class to be able to do that. But these jump pads allow a pyro or even a heavy to have the same sort of jumping potential as a soldier or a demo man, which is, is stupid. I tried playing as a pyro a little bit on this map, but I was constantly getting shot by scouts from a distance that I couldn't do anything about. There's too many sort of open sight lines. So even when a scout's only doing 20 damage, if he can do 20 damage six times without a reply from you, then you're essentially dead. So I basically found the best thing to do was just switch to scout. It seemed to be working for everyone else and it worked the best for me. I'm not a particularly good sniper, but if I was, then this map would probably be a dream because you could just stand at one side or stand on one of the roofs in the middle and get a ton of easy shots on, on massive sight lines where people can hardly even see you, let alone contest you. If you didn't already know, this map is actually being made in association with the company Bad Robot. Now, if you've never heard of them, they're pretty big in the TV film world. It's a production company owned by a man named J.J. Abrams, or Abrams, I don't know. But he's the guy behind a lot of big things, including Lost, Alias, the latest Star Trek film, and even the upcoming Star Wars Episode 7. Now, it, there's some sense made why the big film production company might want to work with a game company, and vice versa, but why this particular game mode? It's not really clear, but the point I'm trying to make is that we're not relying on Valve here to listen to the beta feedback and to do the updates. We're relying on someone who's trying something new and they're gonna wanna get that right. So I'm confident 
that there will be regular updates to this based on feedback. We already saw two additional patches on the night that this came out to fix bugs. So they are paying a lot of attention to this and hopefully they'll continue to pay attention. So I really recommend you guys go out and play this. I'd love to know if you guys think it's too slow as well and would be better suited to a smaller map. If you've never played B-Ball in Team Fortress 2, it's essentially a basketball mod where you pick up the intelligence, you've got to score it in a basketball hoop as a soldier, usually. It plays really fast, but it's really fun. So I'd love to see this game mode sort of replicate that speed. Those respawn times at the moment are like 20 seconds every single time. It is absolutely stupid. They should be five second respawns in my opinion. But anyway, we'd love to know your thoughts on this game mode guys. And if you've got feedback, send it to Valve. That's all from me today. Thanks everyone for listening and I'll see you next time.